got the chills. So, that's not right. went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Not one foot closer. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I don't want to get anyone into trouble. We'll find out, one way or another. Last question. Why are you here? I tracked down and killed a courser at Green Tech Genetics. Now I need help breaking the code on his courser chip. You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this courser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Who are you people exactly? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synth's only friend. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that! He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. Excuse me. Saw some of your work along the trail. Not bad. For a human, that is. For a human? What do you mean? You were born in the Wild Human Model 1.0. You ain't bad for that model. Not in the same league as us since, but hey. Not your fault. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, whatever. Listen, you caught us at a shit time. We're still recovering from something I can't get into. We're a man down, though. And if anything Deacon said about you is true, I'd like you on our team. I'm interested. Awesome. I think you'll be a good fit. I know Dez said we don't got room, but talk to Deacon. I'm sure he's got an angle. He always does. Hi. Don't try anything, stranger.
Decoding a Corsair chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Don't try anything, stranger. Oh, hey, dude. You need something? Tom, our visitor here has a Corsair chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the Corsair chip. Why do you want the Corsair chip? Institute Tech is light years beyond what we have. And a Corsair chip is top of the line. I'm not gonna get into details, but that chip could help us save lives. Maybe throw a wrench in some of the Institute's operations. So, hand over the chip. I don't know. I might need that chip later. This isn't a negotiation. This is a demand. To anybody else in the Commonwealth, all you have is two caps worth of salvage. With us, that data is priceless. But we're not just going to give that away. Talk to me again if you change your mind. Hey there. Made up your mind. We decode the Corsair chip for you, but after that, it's ours. Deal? Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsair chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh, man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man, we got lucky. Got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet bass number. Come on, baby. Then we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear. If you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Right. What? Mm-hmm. What? Hmm? If we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors. What are they, really? The Institute created them. Synthetic humans. They're mostly organic, part machine. Somewhere along the line, they became more than just constructs. They think, they feel, and they act just like you and me. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God, tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life 
for your fellow man, even if that man is a synth? Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this, your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you risk death to save a synth or not? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs, normally we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. If you're not here to save sins, just leave. Not many doctors around these days. Should let me take a look at you. Hear anything, Doc? Nothing that would interest you. Now, let's talk about you and your health. Patch me up, Doc. Now go over your symptoms for me, one at a time. Think I soaked up some rads out there. We'll clean you up, don't worry. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? No other complaints. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Watch yourself, outsider. I don't have anything to say to you. You gotta be careful, man. The Institute is everywhere. <clears throat> There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Everyone's all, you have been hitting the Kims way too hard. But I got my eyes open. I see. We'll file out separately after you leave. Best not to attract attention here. Desdemona. Come here again if you need to meet us. We'll know you're coming. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Do you really have to be so cagey? Seems charms at a premium down here. The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Too bad. I was hoping to get some beer money out of it. If you're picking up the tab, never mind. Go for it. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto! Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there.
wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? Do you have anything for me? I'll take that as a yes. Can't say I'm too surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines, or setting computer terminals free, or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. This device, this will get me into the Institute? Yes, if built correctly. And please get it right. You have to make it in there for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Protect and serve. What do you need, General? Can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? Did you know the Institute has a teleporter? They call it the Molecular Relay. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. One day, Sanctuary will be a vibrant community. I've seen it. You ought to be careful. I can fix most things, but people don't fix so easily. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Do you think you can build this? Wow, what a mess. 
Oh, looks like, uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation? This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? Either it is, or we end up building one hell of a paperweight. Well, whoever wrote this does seem to know what they're talking about. Could be a genius or totally insane. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Hey, Sturgis. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Can you explain how this thing is actually going to work? Let me break it down for you. There's uh, four main parts to this thing. One, a control console to input the code and process the signal. Two, what he calls a relay dish. That's what intercepts the, uh, the teleporter signal. Three, a molecular beam emitter. Gets pretty technical here, but... Uh, Looks like this is what translates your matter into energy for transmission. <sighs> Four, the stabilized reflector platform that you already built. That's what concentrates and reflects the molecular beam. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 